Industry officials have said that the talks with French engine manufacturer Safran for the co-development of 110 kN jet engine is progressing well, and work share agreements along with aspects of payments have been discussed, but the British firm Rolls-Royce is still not out of the race. Rolls-Royce's roadmap offered to India is similar to Safran offer, but both companies have set few conditions that are holding back India from announcing a winner, and the selection of the development partner will now depend on which company backs down on some of these conditions. The 110 kN engine will have supercruise capability without after-burning, low infrared signature and high fuel efficiency, and India will possess the intellectual property rights of the new engine that includes the ability to export the engine to other countries without any restrictions. A Japanese think tank close to Japan's self-defense force has said that India is the only quad country that doesn't operate F-35, and that the Indian Air Force might be forced to go for a government-to-government -government deal for the purchase of F-35, if China supplies its fifth-generation J-31 fighter jet to Pakistan in 2025. The think tank also said that the U.S. administration has started the process to add India as the sixth country in the NATO Plus group, which would move India towards a defense security alignment with the United States, and India will join a group of countries like Australia, Japan, Israel and South Korea, that are the first to get access to cutting-edge weapons and armaments. The DRDO is looking for a development come production partner for manufacturing 10 units of Rudrum 2 anti-radiation missiles for testing, and out of the five companies competing for the contract, Bharat Dynamics Limited has emerged as the lowest bidder. Six Rudrum 2 missiles will be built by Bharat Dynamics Limited under DRDO supervision, and the remaining four missiles will be built completely by Bharat Dynamics Limited. The Rudrum 2 will have a range of 350 km and speed of Mach 4, and will be integrated on Tejas Mark II fighter jet to target both ground and sea-based targets. Adani Group is all set to start production of UAV-launched munition, and has briefed Defence Minister Rajnath Singh on the system at the AMO India 2022. The ULPGM is developed by the DRDO, which features jet vane control system that provides high maneuverability, four control fins and four body wings. It is designed to be launched from the indigenous Archer armed UAV and the Tapas medium altitude long endurance UAV, that can be used to strike armored vehicles, artillery units and command and control stations. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has received the letter of intent from the armed services for the manufacture of 12 light utility helicopters. The production of light utility helicopters has begun, and two units are in advanced stage of completion. HAL is also in the process of handing over nine light combat helicopters to the services, and the first LCH squadron will move to the line of actual control in Eastern Command next year. The Army is also in negotiations for acquiring 11 more Apache helicopters from the US, and acquire around 111 light utility helicopters and 95 light combat helicopters from Hindustan Aeronautics. Cochin Shipyard Limited will get a new large dry dock by the end of this year, that will be 75 meter wide and 310 meter long, that has been built at an estimated cost of 1,700 crore rupees, that will enable it to construct large aircraft carriers of 70,000 ton displacement. Cochin Shipyard has offered to deliver a second week grant class aircraft carrier in five years, while the Indian Navy is also ready with the blueprint of the third carrier and is looking to develop an enlarged version of Weekrant design.